out. I'm going to spend the rest of my life life in that prison. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of my life. You don't know why you're still playing games here tonight? Because reality ain't set in. You know why you're still playing with your soul? Because reality ain't set in. You know why you're still waiting to see you can't wait for me to get preaching so you can do what you want to do after service? Reality ain't set in. But you better hear this preacher here tonight. Sin will go on playing like it's always played. Uh, temptation will go on being temptation. Are you hearing me? You'll get out from youth camp and not feel the conviction no more. That's the reason why tonight's the night you beg your way out of eternity because you will get past this feeling. But if you can let conviction get a hold of your heart and God shake your soul into reality, who among us shall dwell in everlasting burnings? Who among us will dwell in devouring fire? said he went to get his brother out of the same asylum. He says the worst thing he ever seen in his life. He said they started taking his brother out the corridors of the basement, out the door. He said as he went by, he said he heard them gates and them doors closing and said one old man was behind, 60 year old man was behind one of them doors and he said oh God I'll never get out now. I'll never get out now. no way on the face of the earth I could, betray, could, could, could betray hell to you tonight I can't preach it hot enough I can just tell you you don't want to go there but I can tell you tonight the last truth about hell is this you don't have to go it's avoidable did you hear me you don't have to go that's why I'm running all over this country and across this world. And I'm telling everybody I know you don't have to go to hell. I just told hundreds of Filipinos, Filipino children. Some of them don't even have enough clothes. You hear me? We, we make it a fashion show at these youth camps. But I'm telling you, I wish to God there was a Verna here. 18 year old Verna. She sang her heart out in the clothes she's got on come out of a garbage heap. That baby grabbed that microphone and sing praise and worship and make the hair stand on your head. I preached to hundreds of teenagers the other week, a few weeks ago in the Philippines. They wept and sobbed and cried to tears, puddled up like little ponds on the cement floor. I can't make it bad enough, but I can tell you here tonight, you don't have to go there. went to Haiti and told, had the witch doctor's daughter come you listen to me girls she's demon possessed she convulsed her eyes broke back in her head she talked with a voice that was deep and you listen to me and listen to me well she's 16 years old couldn't understand any English but that demon that had her when I spoke to it it listened to every word I said and do what I said in the name of Jesus turned and looked at me and in, in, in English said don't touch me that demon spoke English because that girl couldn't speak it very good I said I didn't touch you I don't touch you I said that's why you don't have the power to lash out at me I won't touch you but I'm going to take authority in the name of Jesus Christ you're coming out The wit, that spirit that demon in her called her mother the witch daughter the demon called the witch daughter she came come in and then got so weak she had to sit down they had to give her a chair and she got to watch her own daughter get deliverance
But you listen to me, girls, and you listen to me well. Before she got deliverance, she took her clothes she had on. They were tight and ungodly, and she'd take her butt and hold it up. And in her Haitian language, she'd say, how you like that, boys? You like that? Then she'd turn and twist her behind and look and say, how you like that? How you like these clothes? How you, like you think you're playing with a spirit of immodesty when you stand in front of a mirror to see how tight your clothes is so you can get the attention of a boy. You got a spirit of hell on you. You better hear me tonight. It ain't it ain't an old fashioned religion I'm preaching here. You've seen what I, I, I need all my school that was in Haiti. Stand up right now. Any of you that's in Haiti with me, stand up right now. Am I lying? Did she do it? Did she do it? Did she do it? Scared, scared the daylights out of me. You ready for this? There's a young boy that was in my school fighting a spirit of lust. He didn't graduate because he couldn't handle it. You don't know what happened? That demon and that girl. Come on, somebody. You don't think that lust that's in your life battling you's got something? Out of all of my students, out of all of my kids, when that girl lunged for somebody, you know who she lunged for? That boy. Come on, somebody. She'd supposed to have been casting the devil out over the next day, come to service where we were, and that boy was sitting there. Amen. They thought she was all right, brought her in and set her down. She come up out of her seat and launched to grab him. You know why? That lust spirit that had a hold of her was familiar with him. Oh, you ain't hearing me tonight. Am I telling it right? Ask my students. I'm telling you the truth. That demon in that girl launched for that boy because it was familiar with him. It didn't launch out of some of these others because they don't battle that same stuff. But that boy did. I'm going to tell you, that very next week, God spoke through the man of God and said, this is your day. You'll repent and get things right. Or I'm going to turn you over to your own self. That boy right there in the middle of that floor cried and prayed. But that night, went and stole my son's cell phone to look at pornography for the next three days. Lied to my church people and told them it's because he didn't believe in standards. It's why he is going to leave the school. No, it's a lie from the pits of hell. I was putting him out for still in a phone and looking at pornography. You'll know what caused havoc. I'm going to tell you what, dear. That spirit jumped off of that girl that was on that girl and launched onto him. You'll know what? Amen. Leave if you want to leave. Get up and do what you want to in church. Let everybody say you're all right, but God knows the truth and the fact. And that spirit ain't left him alone. You better hear me preach tonight. You are not playing games, young lady. I don't care if you do go home and mama babies you and tells you you're all right and tells you we've lost our mind. I'm telling you when a demon launches out of a girl on top of you, there ain't nobody can fake that stuff. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Don't play games. But there ain't no way I can portray it. I wish I could. But if you could hear hell tonight, if you could hear the screams of hell, if you could hear the cries of eternity, it sounds something like this. Greg, you don't lost your mind. I'm telling you, if I could scare you, I'd scare you tonight. I don't want nobody playing games, but I want you, if you're serious, I want you to stand to your feet and say, God's talking to me. I don't want to go to hell.
that are standing, you better, you better pray for the fear of God to get on your life. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. 